Okay. So now we also understand the effect of cyclic GMP and the cyclic AMP. Let us continue our discussion to talk about what happens next. So the allergic reaction appears in two waves. So if I create the problem graph, so there would be an immediate wave and then after from 60 minutes to 1 hour there will be a little bit tendency to reduce the intensity of the allergy and then there would be another wave. So this is called late phase reaction and this is the early or immediate reaction. Again um, I am not doing type 1 hypersensitivity reaction in its full extent. So do not expect that I will be talking about whatever other things are happening during this type 1 reaction. The important thing is this, these guys again our focus are mast cells and basophils. These guys have emptied their chemical substances, right. So they are master chemists who have made things histamines and heparines and tryptases and peroxides and they release them. They cost, in, in their opinion, they are helping us beating some helminths or bacteria or taking care of some venoms and stuff like that. So they, they, they are actually very happy for what they are doing and the nucleus should be bilobed. So I hope you understand. So, but once they have done the degranulation, what happens next is very important. Within two hours and onwards, these cells become busy making one more thing and that one more thing is that these cells are now going to make another uh, set of chemical substances which are going to be creating even bigger problem for us. So what does that mean? They, these cells are going to become busy. So now they have released their mediators, they are done, they are empty, right. So now they say, well, I am empty, I want to do something more, I want to participate in this protective mechanism. They do not know they are damaging us. So what is that participation? These cells sit down and start making things from the arachidonic acid. So lipid mediators will be formed now plus some chemotactic factors are going to be formed. Although what I forgot to mention was that when this degranulation happens, there are certain chemotactic factors which are released as well. So I hope you understand that the chemotactic factors are which are going to attract other cells in this area to participate in the problem, right, or in the solution, whichever way. Uh, if you are a human, then you would say that these cells are causing the problem. If you yourself are a basophil, then you think that you are actually helping, right, so you are part of a solution. Anyways, these chemotactic factors which are very important are the chemotactic factor for neutrophil, chemotactic factor for eosinophil. So see this is our second player today, in our next lecture we will be talking about that. So this is really important for the eosinophil to, to, for us to know that how the eosinophil starts participating in this battle. This is because mast cell and the basophil, they are calling the eos, eosinophil to come in here. So this chemotactic factor is also called eotaxine. Right? So just like a chemokine, this is an eotaxine which is a chemotactic factor for the eosinophil. Then we would also have chemotactic factor for basophil and uh, lymphocytes. So eotaxine is one, chemotactic factor for neutrophil are also released. In the late phase, when these cells go back and start doing some other things, what are they going to do? They are going to produce the lipid mediators. So what are those lipid mediators? So these cells are going to produce this. So pay attention to this, you have to know this. Why do you have to know this? You have to know this as a doctor that your patient who you have just stabilized and by giving him things to combat the anaphylaxis, within two hours he is going to develop another part of the intense reaction. As a student, you should know that when they are asking you the questions, the, from two hours to ten hours, the mediators of the reaction are different from zero hour to two hour. 
So this is very important. That is going to decide if the question is, the answer is correct or not. So what is important is lipid metab metabolites or lipid derived mediators are going to appear. So you know that these are lipoxygenase pathway and cyclooxygenase pathway, right, of the arachidonic acid. At the end of the day, we, uh, we are going to have leukotriene B4 and then leukotriene C4 and D4. We are also going to have prostaglandines. So here, here is what is important. This is again coming from these cells. But these cells became busy in making them. They keep making them from 2 hours to 6 hours. So first they did immediate, they threw out whatever they had as a result of the reaction. They said, okay, fine, this is what we have. Done. Now they are becoming busy to create more chemical substances which are different from the initial chemical substances and these would have their own action. What, has, what is the action? Number one, leukotriene B4, basophil, neutrophil, eosinophil, chemotactic factor. So the mast cell or the basophil is going to recruit more cells to that area. What is it trying to do? Please don't forget this. It is trying to do two actions now. Do not forget this. Two actions now. One, it is trying to amplify the reaction, the allergic action. So it is trying to amplify its own activity, which it has started. And number two, it is trying to contain that activity as well. Seems like oxymoronic, but it is trying to amplify the activity in that local area Plus, it is trying some auditors. It is calling auditors to say, hey, guys, come on here. We are having a fight. Come stand here besides us and see if we are doing over action. Come handle us. Come see what we are doing. Do you know which cell is that? That cell is eosinophil. So mast cell and basophil are going to call the eosinophils to say, come help us understand if we are overreacting. So this eosinophil, leukotriene B4 and eotaxine, these are calling eosinophils in that area. They are calling eosinophils to say, eosinophil, please come in and monitor our activity. And dampen it if need be. Reduce the intensity of the activity if you think we have overreacted. Okay? Why are they calling neutrophils? Why are they calling basophils? Of course, to start, of course, to start inflammation. So, very important thing. They caused allergic reaction. They caused anaphylaxis. Now, these cells are causing, they are calling auditors to say, come on and try to control the situation. One, and they are, they are starting inflammation to say, okay, it looks like we caused some damage or there is some fight going on between us and a helminth. There is no helminth here. A, a fight between us and a worm and maybe we have caused some damage or the, maybe the worm has caused some damage. Come and start doing the inflammation process here so that we can then do further defense and then repair. Right? So, leukotriene B4, do not forget this, is going to be used for that function. This is coming after two to six hours. It's not immediate. It is not preformed. It's not sitting in these granules. It is made new and then released out. Okay. How about leukotriene C4 and D4? These have the same function, which was our primary theme of this activity here. What is that theme? Vasoconstriction, vasodilatation, increased vascular permeability, and smooth muscle contraction. So leukotriene C4 and D4 would do the same thing. Do you know with how much potency? These leukotrienes are the most potent vasoactive things known to us. They are thousands of times more potent than histamine. So once they come out, you would know that how much sustained activity would appear. So those hives are going to stay. Right? Why are they staying or why have they reappeared? Because the leukotriene C4 and D4 has come to the stage as well. They are playing in there too. So leukotriene B4, 
is calling the basophils and neutrophils and the eosinophils. Leukotriene C4 and D4 are increasing and sustaining the reaction. Prostaglandin does the same thing. So now we have gotten the sustained reaction, chemical mediators are different, plus we, have, we are starting inflammation. So now even if the allergen is moved out, even if the allergen is gone, that reaction is still continuing. Right? So the reaction has become sustained because of addition of these players in that area. Okay? So we will continue our discussion.